Be Holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. What shall we do you don't want to miss this? Be holy. All right, now listen. We want to welcome everybody back to be holy. We're glad that you're here with us on today. Today is a wonderful day, the beginning of a new week, and everything is going to be sparkling wonderful. <laughs> no, but listen, everything has to be good. It's going to be good because God made it good. God made it. It's going to work. Today is a good day. He made this day. He. We're going to be glad in this day. We're going to be glad in tomorrow and every week. After such, every day after such, every year after such, we'll be happy about it. It might not be, it might not feel good all the time, but it's going to be a great day. It might not feel good all the time, but it's going to be a great year. It might not feel good all the time, but it's going to be a great and splendid week. Remember that it's just going to be good. It's going to be swell. And listen, listen, God, uh, he cares about us. He does. He does care about us. He came all the way from heaven and take care of and take, take care of these sins and things that we are in. And that we are in, hello, he came all the way from heaven to take care of that. So he cares about us. So trust me, he cares about your day. He cares about your minutes, your hours. He cares about your week. He cares about your year. He cares about your family. He does. And not just believers. He, he cares about everybody's families. He's fair with everything. Not this, and that's what makes him God. He's fair. Not just because we're believers do we get his care, but a lot of unbelievers get his care too. Because we were unbelievers at one time through his loving kindness that we came to him, right? So, because of that, he draws us. He draws us. He pulls us in. He, yeah, we, we, we begin to change. We don't know why we're changing. It's just, you know, we get tired of doing the same old thing that we were in. And then all of a sudden, he gives us a way out of it. Oh, yeah. He came in and forgave our sins and told us to come follow him. That's what he told us. Now, a lot of times, we don't always follow him. I get it. I get it. But we're still learning how to follow him, you know. And the wonderful thing is, even though people don't understand that, God understands it. And so, um, glad about that. Glad about it. Listen, I have a question I want to ask you. I have a question I want to ask you. Okay, now, I don't, you know, I don't dwell in guilt whatsoever, but I have to ask you this. Now, how does God feel about what you're doing? I'm asking you again. How does God feel about what you're doing have you like taken the time to just kind of just think about it um, or even change what you were doing because you felt he didn't approve of it or you you did more because he did approve of it you know something like that what do, how does God feel about what you're doing I have to ask myself the same question how does he feel about it you know sometimes it's great things that he's doing and or things that I'm doing or or good things that you're doing but then other times there's not so good things that you're doing not so good things I'm doing right and so the question that we always have to kind of remember is how does God feel about this you know we we always have a conscience and sometimes some some people's conscience are on 100 and other people's conscience are on 25 and other people's conscience conscience is on one right but we have to ask what how does God feel about what we're doing just don't answer me just think about it on yourself just I'm asking a question but you think about it within yourself and have a conversation with God about it and see where see where you end up and see what you need to change or what you need to increase you know you just never know just because we say uh, I asked the question about God, how does God feel about what you're doing that doesn't mean I'm talking about all bad stuff that doesn't mean I'm talking about all good stuff just a general question how does God feel about that how does God feel about how you're treating your husband 
How does God feel about you? how you're treating your wife? How does God feel about you treating your children? How how does he feel about that? You know, how does he feel that? How does he feel about you are going to work and or uh, or you're not going to work? How does he feel about that? You know, I don't know. It is a lot of things we have to just ask ourselves. How does he feel about us uh, uh, spending money right now or not spending money right now or uh, getting ready for the holidays or not getting right? Whatever. Just how does God feel about whatever it is that you're doing? And just kind of, you know, wait for him to say something to you about it or give you some insight. A lot of times he he feels a certain way and we don't really know that way. And we just kind of. Uh, we just kind of move on with life, I guess. We just kind of go forth and move forth. You know, I was to a broadcast today and, and the, the guy was talking about how people are really trying to, you know, uh, live a godly life. But a lot of times all of us lose the battle or, or there are a lot of people who are losing that battle. There are a lot of people gaining ground on that battle, you know, living for the Lord and then. Uh, when I say living for the Lord, I mean treating people right is what I'm saying. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about treating people right and treating people the way you want to be treated and, and loving God with your whole heart. You know, uh, I don't I don't know. It's just living that life. A lot of times people are losing. They're, they're, they're trying to get they're trying to gain ground on it, but they're, they're they're losing. So we pray for those people who are losing, you know. And we really pray for those who are losing and don't know it. A lot of us were, you know, I'm at church every Sunday and I, I praise the Lord and I pray to the Lord every day. You know, and, and a lot of times you don't even know that you're still losing with that attitude, you know, uh, or if I have that attitude, I don't know I'm losing. Right. So we have to pray for those people who have that attitude because they are losing. They're missing out on a whole lot. So we ask God to help them, help them to see whatever it is that he's trying to tell them not that they, not that they would see what we see is wrong with them but that they see how god feels about what they're doing that's the point how does god feel about what you're doing how does god feel about what you're saying you know um i i, I talk to a lot of people who cuss right you know and <laughs> how does god feel about you cussing some people say oh he 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 said some words. I, I don't know about that. I just, I'm just asking you, how does God feel about it? I don't, I don't go around talking about what God did and how He didn't do this. And uh-uh. I'm asking you, how does He feel? Meaning, I want you to ask Him, how does He feel? Not that you go and speak up for God. Not that I come around and speak up for God and make you feel guilty. No, ask God, how does He feel about what you're doing? Or God, am I headed in the right direction? Or what direction should I be headed in? Well, I can't hear you, God, because you're not, you're not saying anything to me. So I'm going to stay in this direction until you talk to me or say something. Then I'll make the change. You know, I don't know. Just ask, you know, ask yourself, ask God, how's he feel? You know, sometimes we have to make some changes. Sometimes we, you know, we just stand still and see the salvation. Wait. You know, stand still and wait for him to, to, to do whatever. But other times you're having to occupy until he gets there. You have to continue to do what you're doing until he until he arrives. And so uh, I, I'm asking this question because I want I want people to really begin to think about if God is important or not. You know, I want you to think about that. Is God important to you? You know, that the. the does what he feel really influence how you behave? Does God's uh, feelings influence your behavior? You, you kind of get what I'm saying? Not that he's standing over you with a whip and chain and, and, and sending you to hell and got fire in this hand and lightning bolts in the other hand. No, I'm, I'm asking because I want you to, to, to begin to have a, a closer uh, um, talk with him. You know, instead of you know, a lot of times we're always asking them for something, but sometimes it's just good to ask God, how do you feel about that? I don't know any Bible verses about this. I can't find anything about that. And we hear everything on the news or we hear everything in the newspapers or we hear everything on social media. We read this magazine, we read that magazine and we see this and we see that and we see people in, their, in our community and we they say this and they do that or whatever. God, how do you feel about it? Tell me the truth so that I will know. And not that I go and, you know, shame somebody else for doing whatever that you don't agree with, but that I can clean up myself. I can begin to clean myself to 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 kind of step away from certain things that I know that you have a problem with. I don't know. A lot of times we just 
we just do things and and don't even ask God. We you know we go to church. God, how do you feel about this? And we're going to church. How do you feel about that? You know, a lot of times people say, "Oh, you know, God wants us to go to church." Hey, you never know. He might be. He might have wanted you to do something else, and you ended up at church. And so, the blessing that you would have given on to someone else, you kind of had it paused, or you uh, waited, or you held it up, or whatever, because you went to church. I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking, God. How do you feel about what we're doing? How do you feel about this program, God? How do you feel about Be Holy? Are we actually doing what you ask us to do? Are we doing anything to help? Are we hindering anything? You know, uh, just ask God. You know, I'm not saying now Now you just start feeling guilty and you just stop everything. No, you can't just stop what you're doing because you hear me say things. What you can do is ask God, what is the next step? What is the next step for this? What is the next step for that? I don't want to just do things because uh, Brother Leonardo on uh, Be Holy st- said something and, and I feel guilty and I want to know. Don't mm-mm. you don't want to just change because you feel guilty because, you know, sooner or later, you're not going to feel guilty anymore and you'll go back to it. Right. So all you can ever do is ask God so that you can make the right choices, make the right direction. Uh, uh, cho- uh, yeah, choices so that you can walk in the right direction so you can go to the right place. Or find the information that you're looking for Because God wants you to have it He wants you to have it And he's going to make it available And he's matter of fact Nine times out of ten He's already made it available to you And you, we just have to, you know, seek And find, knock and the door open And ask and it shall be given I mean, all these things and we, Yeah, the verse is talking about uh, Receiving the Holy Ghost But that the Holy Ghost is the most important thing, right? And so if he's telling us to ask and receive and knock and, and all that kind of stuff to get the most important thing. I'm sure we can do that same thing. Ask, knock, receive, you know, for the lower things. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. Um, yes, everybody everybody needs the Holy Ghost. Everybody needs God's guidance. Everybody needs God in them to lead them where they're trying to go or where he wants you to go because it's really not about us. I understand that. But... <clears throat> We need to ask God what he thinks Maybe, you know, maybe that'd be a thing we can talk about all week this week I don't know, I had a verse ready, you know, but maybe we'll we'll hit, we'll hit the verse tomorrow But listen, ask God, is he satisfied with what you're doing? I mean, you can ask yourself, are you satisfied with what you're doing? You know, maybe you, I don't know Let God use you and lead you, you understand? Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. And for your convenience, you can now text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. Again, the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And we thank you for your support. Be holy.